Hey, Ant. Do you want to unmute? Let's see here. Hang on one second. There you go. Hello, hello. Hi there. How are you doing? Fantastic. It's been a good Monday so far. Good stuff. How are things in Indiana tonight? Cold. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, where I was coming from, it was cold too, but um, certainly a little nicer here than it was where I was, but uh, good to be back home again. So another Monday oh. night into November. Wow. <laughs> We had our first snow flurries yesterday. It was kind of crazy. Oh, did you? Was not ready for that yet. <laughs> it just seems like, you know, with so much um, stuff going on in the media and so on, we just seem to sometimes be preoccupied and forget the time is clicking. And all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, where the heck did summer go? <laughs> right? And now all of a sudden it's, it's, uh, is pushing towards winter. I know that uh, we're, we got a good week here next week. It's calling for, um, you know, in the teens again next week. So um, that, uh, that'll be nice. Maybe it'll last a little longer than a week. So Indian summer is always a welcomed um, relief from cold for sure. So anyways, we'll give everybody just a minute or so more to jump on. I've got 831 here. Uh, so we're just a minute past the half hour. And uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody to our Monday night team vaccination training call. And as always, we um, do our best to bring you some value and, and uh, bring you some training that you can use and apply to your business. And certainly tonight is, uh, certainly tonight is no different. And, uh, you know, um, always trying to find some meat and potatoes to give to the field. Um, is a bit of a chore at times um, because there's so many things that, you know, some of the veterans here and leaders take for granted. And so, you know, speaking with my very dear friend and teammate, Angela Corns, who is just an amazing leader, we decided that, uh, you know, maybe one of the things that we should talk about is some of the things that we take for granted that maybe some of the new people uh, don't know or some of the, even the veterans don't know that they would be able to pass on and, and share with uh, their teammates. And, and because it's always um, a great thing to um, share our knowledge. And, and uh, so that's uh, what we decided to do. So, you know, from, from uh, Indiana, well, actually originally Angela's originally from Florida um, where she lived for the, while she first joined Vox Life. And uh, then her and her husband, Jim moved to, Indiana and she's closer to her mom and and uh, a couple of her uh, uh, two nephews no one nephew a niece and nephew a niece and nephew that's right so um, and Angela has been uh, with Vox Life for almost uh, just over three years now Angela three and, three and a half years. April before April will be four of, uh, of this year so um, we've um, certainly uh, learned a lot over the last three and a half almost four years and we continue to grow and, and continue to share. But we thought that uh, we might have a great topic in uh, just having a, a topic called, did you know? And uh, maybe you do and maybe you don't. And so what we're gonna do is just make it late tonight and uh, Angela's gonna lead the field um, on the topic, did you know? So it's my pleasure to introduce my very dear friend and teammate from Indiana, Angela Corns. Welcome, Angela. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. Um, this is a really fun, but important and kind of a, a lighthearted topic tonight since next week we have our associate convention, our Zoom convention. So that's gonna be a ton of information and a lot, a lot of learning. So I wanted to keep tonight really light. And um, I've had some very interesting conversations with people that have reached out to me with some questions, which always feel free to reach 
up your line or out to any of us that you see frequently. Um, if you have questions, um, I don't know anybody in VoxLife that wouldn't be happy to help you or answer questions. Um, so with that being said, there, it, it came to me in talking to all of these people. Some of them are newer, not all of them. Um, and it became very apparent that I have forgotten things about Vox Life over the last three and a half years. And there are things that aren't written down anywhere that those of us that have been involved in Vox Life for so long, we just take it for granted because we know it. And it's just been ingrained in us for so many years now that we forget that people don't know it and we forget that the information isn't readily available for them to learn it. So I reached out to a few other long-term associates today and asked them, and I, I didn't, um, didn't lead them into any answers, but just asked them what they've learned about Vox Life that isn't in print. And I got some really unique, amazing answers. But um, something that was important to me was, did you know, here's your first one, the athletic socks are microbial treated. That's why they don't end up stinking and get funky if you wear them more than one day without washing them. They're microbial treated. So that is a super cool, fun fact that even a lot of associates that have been in Vox Life longer than me don't know. So um, it is in print. Um, I've kind of, I've went back and forth with head office a little bit today because I was pretty sure in the beginning the wellness socks were too, but we can't verify that currently. Um, but definitely the athletic socks are. So that's super cool. The wellness socks um, actually um, were the ones used in our diabetic neuropathy study. And the reason that they are so important, especially for the diabetics, is that they have a reverse toe seam. And diabetics are very prone to getting sores on their feet and on their toes because they just don't feel when something's rubbing them because their feet are typically number or their circulation isn't so great. So that reverse toe seam is super important for them. Another little fun fact, a lot of people don't realize. So along with that little extra padding in the bottom, they've got that reverse toe seam. Um, so Vox Life, before Vox Life ever existed, Jay was involved in another project and it was actually a mouthpiece. It was like a mouth guard and it was accomplishing a lot of the same things that the Vox HPT does. Um, but it was, it worked on the, hold on. I wrote down how to say this. Uh, trigeminal nerve, which is one of the cranial nerves in your jaw, and it created better balance and stability. Um, but not too many people are going to walk around with mouth guards. And he started seeing flaws in the, in the system and in the technology. And that's what led him into creating Vox Life. So that actually is one in, in one of the very original videos that's floating around out there in cyberspace somewhere. So that's kind of cool. Um, Vox Life started with the classic insoles. That was the very first product. They are the um, only insoles that come in an extra large, just in case you haven't had to deal with an extra large size foot. They are the only ones that come in extra large. Now here's something I didn't even know. Terry, I'm sure you know this one, but I didn't even know this one, is that the athletic socks used to come in canary yellow. I didn't know that. That was even before my time. So that was kind of a fun fact to learn. Um, Jen Moyer. I still have a, a pair. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. They're pretty well worn and they're not quite canary yellow anymore. <laughs> I can imagine after over four years, they're not very yellow anymore. Um, 
so that was that was kind of fun to learn. Um, we all know that Jay works very, very hard. He doesn't sleep much. Um, when you just listen to him speak, you're like, does this man ever sleep? Does he ever spend time with his family? Um, so this was shared to me by a couple of different people. And I knew this in the back of my mind, but I had kind of forgotten it. Before Vox Life moved to the current um, building that they're in in Toronto, um, Jay's wife, Manjeet, uh, actually ran the warehouse and picked and packed orders. And so she was the warehouse manager. So the entire family was involved. Manjeet had a very big part that she played in making it all work. And um, it was very, very common to run into her in the warehouse. So if you've not had the pleasure of being at conference yet to meet her, she's absolutely lovely and um, was a very integral part of it all. Um, <laughs> uh, Lori shared this with me, that Inder, Jay's sidekick, that helps train and do all of the wonderful things he does at head office for us, at one point in time was thinking about being a lawyer. There's a little fun fact. <laughs> I can't see Inder being a lawyer. I love him where he is. Um, it gets a little confusing with all of the technologies that we have and because different people's bodies respond differently just to the types of tech, I like to refer to it as some people eat spaghetti with a fork, some eat spaghetti with a knife and spoon. Some people eat it with a fork and spoon. However you eat your spaghetti doesn't matter. You're still all eating the same spaghetti. It's the same thing with all of the HPT products. And your body just may respond to a different delivery system, but each of the HPT products elicits the exact same response in your brain. So HPT products include all of the insoles, all of the socks, regardless of style. It includes now the knee supports, the shapewear, and the HPT Harmony patches. They all elicit the same response in the brain. It's just how your body is going to react to the delivery system. Um, so in the beginning, we had no practitioner program. You signed up as an associate if you signed up. That was it. Um, it was very straightforward. We had no patches. No patches. Socks and insoles is all we had. And we didn't have thin insoles. And all of the wellness socks, all we had was the basic colors. We had black, charcoal, brown, white and the yeah the charcoal was the gray the charcoal yeah that's it that's all we had in wellness socks so all of the colors have morphed because people wanted something fun um but in the beginning that's all we had so we had the classic bliss and rush insoles and our athletic socks and then we had those four colors of wellness that was it um, I don't have it anymore. I think Paul Austin still has his, but the prototype of the Harmony patch was brown. It was brown. So it's been very cool to watch how the Harmony patch has morphed into what it is today. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna shift, shift the, the conversation a little bit because in the beginning, we didn't have brain maps. So how did we know it worked? We believed, we had a demo, we showed people, that was it. We were told that it put the brain in homeostasis and that it was doing all these really cool things to our brains, but we didn't have any brain maps back then. We didn't have white papers back then. And I think this is something that's super important because I hear a lot and I get caught up in it too, is 
it's so much information. I feel like I have all the studying to do before I can go talk to people or I don't understand how it works or I need more of the science or I'm confused at what I'm looking at. Doesn't matter. Do the demo, have the belief. And I can very much so get caught up in telling too, too much information to people. I kind of word vomit on them. And then they look at me like I've got 10 heads. Not everybody wants all of that information, but I'm so excited to share all of that information with them. They don't want it. They just want to feel better. So I had to kind of step back a couple months ago and say, okay, why did this work for me in the beginning when I didn't have all this information? What made it work? And it was just the simplicity. It was do the demo, have the belief. And when you have that belief, it creates the belief in other people. And it is so incredible what can happen. Don't get caught up in the science. Don't get, you know, I see so many people, oh, I wish I had my brain map. But yeah, it's cool to see, I'm not gonna lie. It is cool to see. But don't let that be your belief in the technology. Now, it's cool that we have all the brain maps that we have. We know that it works on every single person. We stick it on. It's going to do something for their brain function. Every single person. But don't get caught up in that. Do the demo. Get caught up in your belief. And people will feel that coming from you. And um, it's really cool just to step back, to look at the simplicity of what it was in the very beginning and, um, and why it worked. You know, I didn't have cool pictures to show people. <laughs> I could do a demo and say, look, try it. If you don't like it, you get your money back, but try it. And that was it. If you don't like it, you get your money back, try it. What do you have to lose? Nothing, but you have everything to gain. You're desperate, you're hurting, you, you doctors don't have the answers. Just try it, dude, that's it. And so I think that that is something that because especially, I mean, the newer people coming in, I mean, not only do we have all the HPT technology now, but now we have all the other stuff on top of it. It's a lot of information. It's very confusing. It's very technical. It can be very scientific. Forget about it. Go back to the basics. And the basics are do the demo, feel the difference. Now it's a little different with the metabolic patch and it's a little different with the neurovax because we don't have a demo. But when you're talking about those things, you're talking about experiences that other people have had. The science is great and cool. You can say it may help with this or that or whatever, but talk about experiences, talk about something people can relate with. And I rely on that a lot because my Vox Life aha for me personally is not this great, big, huge, powerful story. I don't have that for me personally, but a lot of my associates do and a lot of their customers do. And so I always find if I'm chatting with somebody online or I'm meeting somebody, I'll say, okay, give me just a second. And I find out a little bit about them and what their issues are. And I'll pull up a testimonial or I'll have something in the back of my head because I go through the testimonials a little bit every day. And I can instantly give them a story they relate to. They can do with that story what they want, but at least they know there's somebody like them in their situation. And so, just taking it back, stripping it down to the very basics is where we started. And it's kind of where we need to loop back around too, I feel. For me, that makes sense. But when we've been here so long, we just forget. And we forget that the newbies don't know that it's really that simple. Because right now the information out there looks anything but simple. 
<laughs> you show somebody all this stuff and they're like, oh my, and you get the deer in the headlight look. So um, you can unmute yourself if you have questions. You can post something in the chat. Short, simple, sweet tonight, little light, stripping it back down to basics. If you don't have a ticket for the conference, get one. So even if you can't be there, you can listen to the recordings because I put together the schedule. I'm telling you, it is going to be amazing. And it's gonna be so much information and there's so many great people lined up to speak that just have so much to offer for the field. It's incredible. So with that. I was gonna mention, Ange, like your, your point of getting back to basics is, is um, really a key point. Um, because some of us that were, you know, involved before the company was even launched on doing product demos and so on. Um, and my memory is very, very clear. And I'm sure, you know, people like Kevin Duguay and my sister will remember um, going to hockey tournaments and so on before the company even launched with prototypes. And they're like, what is this? And I'm like, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but it does something really amazing. And I don't know how it does it or why it does it, but come here, I wanna try, you know, it was the Vox Take the Vox Challenge. And it was the challenge was, can you stay balanced or can you not stay balanced? And so um, I remember back in those early days, even, you know, young uh, 14, 15 year old hockey players where um, I would actually get their parents to do the lateral and dynamic stability test on their own kid and they'd feel it in their own child and knew nothing about it. And, uh, you know, they, they'd ask you how it works. And I'm like, you know, I really don't know how it works, sir. <laughs> I just know it stimulates something um, through the central nervous system to the brain. And, uh, um, and, and so that's where we were at the beginning. Now we know a lot and we, we have information to offer people, you know, if they truly need that. But I think it's important to get back uh, and really, you know, educate people and, and ask them those questions about, you know, what if is a great line. What if um, three or four pairs of these socks and a couple of pairs of insoles could improve the way you feel day to day? Would that be important to you? Right. You and, and like you said, it's everything to gain. You have everything to gain. And the difficulty is, is that a lot of people think they feel good until they feel freaking wonderful. Right. So, hey, I feel good. Well, what if you could feel fantastic? What if you could feel like you could achieve things in a day that you've never been able to achieve before? Would that be important to you? And so if it is, I got a challenge for you. You know, that's really what it comes down to. You know, here's what happens. We have 50 plus thousand people on a testimonial, which I could show you, which might bore you like crazy. I have white papers um, and those studies, these studies are all going to come out. We'll have more ammo than we can deal with when it comes to scientific studies coming out in the, in the not too distant future. But I think your point is well um, received that just getting back to basics and, and asking questions, what if, what if, right? What I if, just, you feel what better? if, yeah. What if you could run faster? What if you could play pickleball again? What if you could, you know, go for a half hour walk instead of a five minute walk? What if you could keep up with, with the grandkids? What if, you know, what if you could ride a bike again? What if, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all of those things. Um, I'm going to address something really quick. Um, Kathy Hewlett, um, trouble with the demo. Reach out to myself, reach out to Kevin Duguay, reach out to Terry. One of us would be happy to um, video chat with you and help you through a demo because even little itty bitty tiny women should be able to demo football players. It's not a strength thing. It is definitely a um it's how you do it so um reach out to one of us and we can video with you to help you through that so that you can demo guys yeah and another thing that i just found out tonight speaking with um carol romkema um uh, did you know that when you sign up an associate you should get a copy uh, a congratulations letter from box corporate um letting you know the schedule um that you're going to be oh yes uh, getting or that your associates going to be getting from corporate. Uh, it doesn't give you the actual date, the email, but we don't get CC'd on the actual emails that go based on the onboarding schedule that corporate sends. However, 
we do get an email when you enroll a new person you get an email letting you know hey congratulations so and so just signed up um, please reach out to them um, here's the onboarding schedule uh, so on uh, we find out tonight that um, that a couple people on our team, Carol Romkema being one of them, is not getting CC'd on the email that's going to one of her new enrollments. So if that's happening to you, please reach out to corporate and make sure that you are, uh, that they're aware of the problem so that if you enroll a new associate, you should be getting a copy of the email or getting a, an email sent to you saying congratulations, um, you know, so-and-so just enrolled, here's their associate number, reach out to them and so on. So that is um, a glitch that, uh, that corporate has to be aware about to, to, to solve. So um, I just wanted to bring that up tonight, Ange, because that's another did you know, and, and Carol brought it to my attention and she really didn't know that she was even supposed to be getting a copy of, um, you know, the, the uh, letter um, uh, congratulating her for enrolling somebody. So um, that's very important to know because you want to stay uh, as in touch with your new associate as possible and be able to, within the first 24 to 48 hours, to onboard them properly. So let me just make sure. I think I covered everything in my notes. This is the least amount of notes I've ever had to do a training call, just so everybody knows. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, um, Kathy Hewlett, uh, it's definitely technique that uh, you're doing. And, um, you know, it may not be you. It may be your, it, it may be the person you're doing it to. Um, you know, so I reach out to, you know, Kevin Duguay, uh, and myself, whatever, and, and we can walk you through a live demo to help you through that. So. Um, do you see any questions on here, Ann? I don't. Everybody said it was kind of fun. Very light and easy tonight. Um, just little little tidbits and tricks. And um, it's, it's just really cool, though. Something will trigger that. Well, I know that. And then we'll be like, well, how did you know that? And I'm like, well, we talked about it three years ago but we don't bring it back up and talk about it anymore because those of us that know it from three years ago know it. And so that we, we forget some of the information is forgotten to get passed down and it's just out there floating around in our heads and it's not written anywhere. So. Yeah. And um, things change corporately too. We change things a little bit in the back office. So review is always a great thing for all of us, I think. And, and uh, certainly, um, you know, for the new people coming in, the, the more information they get. Because as you, you said earlier, between product knowledge and learning how to do your business um, can be a little overwhelming at times. And so you got to take it slow, one step at a time. And it's like walking up a staircase. You don't jump from the bottom of a 12-step set of stairs right to the top. You have to do it one stair at a time. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can jump two stairs at a time, depending how good you are. But uh, you certainly have to... Uh, elevate to the top level by going up the stairs one or two at a time. So, and that's what we have to do with our, our business uh, as well. And um, what I wanted to say in, um, in, in uh, closing tonight is first of all, thank you, Angela. You're, you're just you're wonderful. You always step up when I, when we talk and I challenge you, you're always up for the challenge. And uh, um, that wasn't maybe the case three years ago or uh, no. two and a half years ago. So we're very, very grateful uh, for you and, and, and for the way you step up and train and take on the challenge. And, uh, and um, what I want to challenge everybody on this call is to make sure that, um, that uh, if you're interested in learning more, um, get your ticket to the uh, 2020 summit. Uh, this is an associate run training, two day training, uh, November 13th and 14th. The lineup of trainers from the field as well as Jay Dollywall, as well as um, uh, Dr. Mark, uh, Dr. Joe Baldino. Yeah, yeah. The lineup we have is um, is really, really incredible. And um, the nice thing is, is that if you can't make every hour, every minute of the training uh, due to whatever, if you buy your ticket for the twenty five dollars, you're going to get the you're going to get the recordings, 
And so you can watch them at your leisure. You can, um, you can catch up when you have time to catch up. Um, but the lineup uh, and the topics that uh, are going to be talked about, I think, are of great value to all of us that are looking and learning in this new uh, world uh, how to do things better um, and how to continue to grow and share this amazing technology. So again, that is the Vox Life Power Summit um, that is uh, November 13th and 14th, um, hosted by uh, Krista Taylor and Paul Austin. And then Angela Carnes will be one of our amazing trainers at, uh, at this event. So we have a great lineup. So I, uh, I hope you all can um, join us. I hope you can all take the time to uh, grow your business and learn because, um, you know, I've always said that uh, the only room in my house is the room for improvement. So I'm looking forward to this training as much as anybody. So um, Angela, again, on behalf of the field, thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and, and uh, you knocked it out of the park tonight. And it's so great to learn these little things that we tend to forget about, like the, you know, uh, athletic socks being treated for, um, you know, uh, antimicrobial, um, so they help keep them from being stinky. Um, and again, with the, uh, you know, with the uh, wellness socks, having the reverse tosi, so important for people that struggle with diabetes and so on. So some of the little things are some of the most important things, uh, as we know, um, when we're sharing this. So anyways, a um, little bit of a nostalgic night too, a little bit of walk down memory lane for, for some of us, for sure. And so we're all grateful. So if anybody has any questions before we say good night, um, please unmute yourself and uh, and uh, say uh, say good night uh, or ask Angie a question. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. Okay, everybody. and thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was really fun. Thank, thank you, Angela. You. That was good. Good thank you. Thank you, Angela. You guys are welcome. Happy Monday. Monday. Happy Monday. Thanks, Angela. Thank you, Carrie.